Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy and smash, even on top of that, the ever-living blue eyes boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1400 ladder. Can you tell I just woke up not too long ago? Um, I actually read these cards at uh, like 4 o'clock in the morning when I woke up. Uh, and now I, I just read them again, and I'm still trying to figure out if, if they're good. So let's go ahead and go into these new Blue Eyes support cards. If you remember, we covered the first four reveals from the Structure Deck, uh, like maybe a month ago now. There were other cards that still needed to be revealed from the Structure Deck, and that's what these are. Again, this is on YG Organization, so of course they've got all the ads out the yin-yang. There's nothing I can really do about it. I do apologize. Anyway... Uh, this here is Neo Kaiser Seahorse, a Kaiser Seahorse retrain, which is pretty funny. Uh, level 4 Light Dragon Tuner Effect Monster, 1700 attack, 1650 defense, that's the same as the OG stats. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you control Blue Eyes White Dragon, so the vanilla monster, you could special summon this card from your hand. You can target one Light Tuner you control, increase or decrease its level by one. Remember, all of the Blue Eyes Tuners, or at least the in-house archetype tuners, are Light Tuners. Um, so being able to level modulate by one isn't terrible. I mean, only by one star is, I guess, not the best thing in the world. But it can, I guess, kind of help you get to the uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Spirit Dragon thing. Um, so yeah. Uh, if this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can send a Blue Eyes monster or one monster that mentions Blue Eyes uh, from your deck to the graveyard except Neo Kaiser Seahorse. I don't like the fact that this is... Uh, well, actually, no. It, it's a good thing that's a dragon because the link... Yeah, the link requires a dragon or spellcaster. So you could normal summon the Neo Kaiser Seahorse, and then what you're going to see in a minute is the uh, Link Monster. You can normal summon this, or even special summon it if you have the vanilla blue eyes up, which you probably won't. Level modulate a light tuner, and then you can link off into the Link 1, and then you can foolish burial a blue eyes monster or a monster that mentions blue eyes white dragon. Um, so it's, it's interesting. I think that the special summoning, if you control the vanilla blue eyes, is just never going to come up. Most builds of Blue Eyes now that are competitive anyway are only playing one copy of the vanilla because it's just such a brick. Um, so, yeah, like you're, you're about to see that with the trap card too as to why I'm saying that. Uh, apparently, you need to buy Lunchables because they must have paid for a big old ad spot on here. Oh, wait, here we go. That's how I close it out. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, YJ organization, y'all need to fix your shit. Uh, Majesty with Dragons of White. I'm sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, this trap card is Garbo. Uh, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Show up to three blue eyes, white dragon, or dragons from your hand, face up field, and or graveyard. Then destroy that many cards your opponent controls. Cool, it doesn't target, but no one plays three blue eyes anymore. Um, this is basically the equivalent of what's that card for cyber dragons? Chimera Tech Over Dragon? Not Over Dragon. The Cybernetic Overflow. That's it. That that's what the equivalent of this is. You're never going to be revealing three blue eyes because why would you need to pop three cards anyway? If you have three blue eyes on the board, you're probably winning. You can banish this card from your graveyard, ritual summon a ritual monster from your hand, only from the hand, by tributing blue eyes from your hand or field whose total level is exactly equal to the level of that ritual monster. This is garbage. Um, no one's playing Chaos Max Dragon for a reason because it's not good. Now, the Link 1 is actually really interesting. So it's a Light Dragon Link Effect Monster, Spirit with Eyes of Blue, Link 1, 300 attack, points bottom left. One level 4 lower Dragon or Spellcaster. So you see what I mean with the Neo Kaiser? You drop this thing out, you summon, and then you can bring out the Link, and then you're good. Uh, you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's Link summon, you could take one Mausoleum of White from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. We're going to be going over that card in a minute. You cannot special summon except Dragon Monsters. We don't care. You can tribute this card, special summon a Blue Eyes monster from your hand or grave, but if you special summon an effect monster from the grave, it can't attack. Also, its effects are negated. That's fine, because you're probably just going to use it for, you know, rank 8 Xyz fodder. I hate that it's only from the hand or grave. Like, why can't it be from the deck? Uh, who cares if this thing's a lone fire? Like, Blue Eyes isn't about to be, like, tier 0. Now, let's go over here to Mausoleum of White. Hopefully, you're still seeing my screen. Mausoleum of White says, During your main phase, you can normal summon one level 1 Light Tuner. In addition to your normal summoner set, you can only gain this effect once per turn. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster you control. Send one normal monster from your hand or deck to the grave. And if you do, the targeted monster gains attack equal to the level of the monster sent to the graveyard times 100 until the end of this turn. Even if this card leaves the field, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one burst stream of destruction from your deck to your hand. Um, <laughs> fucking burst stream of destruction. So if you control blue eyes, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Blue eyes you control cannot attack the turn you activate this card. Either they really want you to play burst stream of destruction or like... They really want you to play Mausoleum of White or both. Um, don't play Burst Stream of Destruction. This card's terrible. Like, why not just play Regeki, bro? <laughs> anyway, um, 
So it is cool that it can grab you the mausoleum either to your hand or to dump it because technically, I guess, you could go mausoleum, dump a vanilla monster from hand or deck to grave, so then that can make the link monster live. So even though it can't summon from deck, it can get from grave, which the mausoleum just dumped, and the mausoleum is also a field spell. But I don't know if the mausoleum is still worth playing because the mausoleum's always been garbage. So... Getting the additional normal is nice, but I don't know, man. Maybe people will go to, like, terraforming and set rotation and play multiple different field spells because I think some builds were playing Dragon Ravine anyway. So there's the argument to be made, like, you can max out on Mausoleum of White plus a copy of Dragon Ravine, play terraforming and set rotation. Then you've also got the Link Monster to get you to the field spell. Um, that is interesting. Um, and then along with some uh, reprints, um, you've got Nibiru, Ash, Maxi, two Veilers, two Trade, and a Call by an Imperm and Heretic Seal, Heavenly Spheres, minus the Maxi. If all these other hand traps come over, this structure deck is actually going to be a really good buy just for the fact that you're getting these awesome hand traps. Um, in regards to the new support overall, I really don't know how to feel about it. You know, I'm, keep in mind, as I've said in the past with like card reviews and stuff, I'm one of those people that like I can read a card and unless it's like just blatantly obviously good, like say draw five or six cards, I'm pro I'm usually on the defense of it seems decent or just flat out bad. Um, like the 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 trap seems just garbage. Like no one's gonna play that. The lake monster is honestly like pretty good. I wish it summoned from the deck, but technically it gets you to mausoleum of white which technically means you can summon from deck even though it has to dump the grave first and it gets you an additional normal which doesn't seem bad at all um i don't know man like playing multiple copies of blue eyes white dragon just feels bad like it, it's definitely not something you're going to be doing if you're competitive like if you're playing three copies of vanilla blue eyes white dragon in your deck Stop that shit. Like, you're giving yourself minus two pieces of flex spots. Like, because you only really need one. And builds don't even play Alternative Dragon anymore. Alternative Dragon's considered bad, from what I understand. So, anyway, I'm no Blue Eyes expert. I'm just going based off of what I've seen over the years online and stuff. Um, but it's still going to probably just be one copy of the Vanilla Blue Eyes, one copy of the Jet Dragon, and then, like, you max out on all the other good stuff. Um, the Neo Kaiser Seahorse is maybe going to be a one or two of. I don't see people playing this as a three of. Because if you have the vanilla blue eyes up, uh, I, I don't even know how you're going to get the vanilla blue eyes up to special summon this thing. Like, this just seems like a kind of a bad normal summon. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I really hope blue eyes does become good, though. Because honestly, blue eyes is a fun deck. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's just having to play bricks is just always bad. I mean, look at Exodia as a perfect example. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.